ladies and gentlemen, I'm making this as a public service announcement because I've seen a lot of talk about Robinhood and uh, their CEO, Vlad, aka Vlad the Stock Impaler, according to Elon Musk. Vlad the Stock Impaler. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for inviting me up. It's good to hang with all of you. All right, Vlad. I was, what really happened? Now, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack here, but basically the main thesis of this video is that you cannot trust Robin Hood to tell the truth. Now, that's not to say that I'm not telling you to go move all your money. I'm not telling you all that. I, I personally, if I, if I had the app, I would delete it. Most of my money is in just Vanguard funds. I'm not invested in the GME situation. But I want to make this video because I think a lot of news coverage, they just focus on the now and they don't really push the CEO of Robinhood to explain anything further. So far, he's been given pretty easy questions by a lot of reporters where he's constantly saying, oh, yeah, we decided to stop, you know, stop trading because we couldn't handle uh, the clearinghouse requests. But then people ask, oh, do you have a liquidity problem? And he says, no, 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 no liquidity problem. It sounds to me, though, that you're suggesting that there was a liquidity problem uh, inside the firm. And, and my question about that then raises all sorts of new questions about whether there's a systemic issue uh, underneath the system and underneath the company unto itself. No, no, there, there was no li liquidity problem. So that's the thing. We're supposed to trust this guy that we know very little about. And I want to reveal some facts about his history just to contextualize, you know, whether you want to leave your money in the hands of this guy or not. Because I think this is important, right? Basically, he's asking you to trust him. Trust me, guys. I would tell you if something nefarious was happening. Trust me, guys. I would be honest with you. Don't be, don't go speculate because trust me. So you have to ask, well, who is Vlad? Who is the CEO of Robinhood? Well, his parents were, uh, and I kid you not, you cannot make this stuff up. They worked for the World Bank. Okay, so he's not some poor kid who decided to democratize uh, brokerage services. Robinhood started five years ago by pioneering commission-free, no account minimum mobile investing. And we've been the spokesperson of the individual investor and our whole goal as an institution is to enable those customers, empower them and give them access to the markets. Right, he comes from the elite of the elite. But, and this is the bigger deal, just in December, right? So not like two months, it's still fresh on the mind. He actually got a cease and desist from the Securities and Exchange Commission. You guys are gonna absolutely lose your mind when you see this. In this document and in the press release, they described how Robinhood Financial misled its customers about revenue sources and failing to satisfy the duty of best execution. Now, they had to pay a big fine, $65 million. But what's more interesting is not that they had to pay a little slap on the wrist fee, because that's really what $65 million is to a company that has as much cash flow um, as Robinhood. But why this is a big deal is the actual charge was that Robinhood lied to its customers. Let me repeat that. Robinhood, which right now the CEO is asking you to trust him that nothing nefarious happened with a bunch of interested hedge funds that they work with, they lied to you. What did they lie about? Well, they lied about the way they made money. Isn't that interesting? They lied about who they were beholden to. Well, you see, Robinhood makes a huge amount of money through something called order flow, right? Payment for order flow. It's a controversial practice. Um, we're not going to get into it too much here, but basically because they make their commission zero, they have to make their money somehow, right? They're going to screw you somehow. And so they instead raise the price for that. The bid ask spread raises up. So you're actually on stocks. You're not, the commission is basically in the spread. I don't know if that makes sense. Whereas normally someone would charge you like a, like a flat fee, maybe instead here, you've got your, a higher bid ask spread. And so you lose money. Now, that's how Robinhood makes its money is by these payments, okay? But they lied about it and they didn't tell their customers that's how they were making money. They misled you in order to trick you into thinking that 80% of their revenue through 2015 and 2016 was from payment for order flow. But while they initially had it as a way they made money, they deleted the payment for order flow FAQ. Robinhood kept no records of showing when the payment for order flow was deleted, why it was deleted, or who was responsible for approving its removal. Although payment for order flow remained the company's largest revenue source, 
Robinhood did not include it as a way they made money. And so let me repeat that. They lied to you about how they made their money and they got punished for this as late as December 17th of 2020. And then they want to tell you a month later, the CEO of Robinhood wants to get on there and tell you, hey, we're all for the customer. We're for the poor people. We're about democratizing financial services. When you lied to these customers you're supposedly helping about the fact that the real way you make money is by just raising the bid ask spread. The real way you make money is by charging payment for order flow, charging higher rates than any of the other brokers while saying that you maintain competitive rates. For example, for an order of more than 100 shares, the analysis concluded that Robinhood's customers would be better off trading at another broker dealer, despite zero commissions, because the additional price improvement that such orders would receive at other broker dealers would likely exceed the $5 per order co uh, commission cost that those other broker dealers were then charging. So I don't want to get too in the weeds here, but basically the, the headline statement is Robinhood asks you to trust them that nothing nefarious is happening a month after getting penalized millions of dollars for lying to their customers about where the money was going and who they were beholden to. That's what we're supposed to believe. The guy whose daddy and mommy work at the World Bank, we're supposed to believe that he's got it out for your best interest. This is what's crazy. I feel like we live in Looney Tune land that nobody's bringing this up. How's nobody bringing up the fact that Robin Hood just got charged a fee about this? What are we doing? These people, look, fool me once, shame on me. Or shame on you. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. I don't know. It's unbelievable. Why would you lie to people about how you made your primary source of money? Ask yourself that. And then ask yourself, is that where you want to stick your money? With those guys who lied to you and got punished for it in 2020, you want to go stick your money with them and keep your money with them. All right, guys, that's basically it. And don't forget, guys, this is the month of market manipulation. That means if you want to drop a like, you want to drop a comment, you want to drop a share, we're trying to move the needle on CoffeeZilla, get us into the recommendation algorithm, build up a better world of content for you guys. Uh, so if you want to be a part of that, only February only, you can't do it in March. You can't like the channel in March. You can't subscribe in March. <laughs> Just join now. Join now. That's all I'm saying. Be a part. Greatest opportunity of our era. So thanks for watching. Uh, that's it. And I'll see you tomorrow. I know what you mean. This ain't what it seemed. Nothing but a trick. Trying to sell me on a dream. But that was where you lost me. Wake up and smell the coffee.